Hey guys, it's your girl, Shadi Melinda, back with another YouTube video. And as you can see, your girl got some packages, not even packages, some boxes today. Some boxes today, and I'm going to be showing you my spring shoe haul pickups. And yes, that's an orange box. And no, it's not no Oran sandals in there. <laughs> You are now tuned in to the Fashion Sherlock YouTube channel. And I'm your girl, Shari Melinda. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. And if you love this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Now, let's just cut to the chase. Let's just cut to the chase. Hi, guys. How have y'all been? I know I've been... Have I been away? No, I was just with you guys last week sharing. I can't even keep track of what I shared with y'all last week. But anyway, today I'm sharing shoes with you guys, okay? So last week was the beginning of March. Yes, the beginning of March. And I said I wasn't shopping until March. Well, I don't know if I shared that with you guys, but I did share that on Instagram that your girl wasn't shopping until March and today is March 11th and as you can see I already did some damage okay but the damage is for the greater good and of course some of these I was able to scat, uh, scag, snag at a really really good deal because you know the fashion Sherlock is always looking for deals and um one of these items because you know y'all see an orange box right here Hermes don't um Hermes don't go on sale y'all unless you go into the to the sample sale then it's on sale right but what i got is not on sale obviously so yeah so i'm gonna share with you guys uh some of my latest pickups so where should we start let's start with in the order of which you see here the first shoe i'm going to be sharing with you guys is from the attico okay so story time y'all let me tell y'all a little story before i open up this shoe and show y'all so my sister claims that i never want a shoe until she wants it which is nine times out of ten true okay because i go to her for you know her keen fashion sense and um you know the girls on instagram the fashion girls was all sporting this shoe and um i first saw the shoe and i was like it's cute it's a mule you know i done bought all the mules i i'm, I'm done i'm muled out okay i'm muled out <laughs> until she showed me these shoes and I was like, oh, they're cute, but you know what? No, I just bought those Bottegas. I was like, you know, I feel like this shoe is really trendy and the Bottegas are really trendy. And you know, I'm a trendy chick. And um, I felt like I already got a Bottega, so I don't need this. And then it just, it just has been on my mind. And then long and behold, one of the fashion influencers that I follow online, Melissa Wardrobe, posts these shoes. And then she was the one who confirmed it for me. And then I was like, yeah, I'm getting these shoes. So, of course, I went online searching for them. I believe they retail for over $700. Let's just get to the shoe. And um, I was like, mm, I'm not paying that. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. I'm not paying that. So I was able to find them under $500. Yes, your girl found them under $500. And I had to get them, and so I got them. And let me tell y'all something. Yes, these shoes are everything. So look at this heel, this triangle heel. It is a square toe. You know, we love a square toe. Um, and it 
comes in multiple colors. They even come in one that's a little bit lower and one that has a um, strap. But I thought these were like the classic, you know, classic pair. This and the, not the classic pair, but these were the pair that was like the most popular that you see around. Look at these. Um, the heel is a little high. Now, people are stating that they're uncomfortable. They will, I've only worn them in the house and they're not uncomfortable for me. But to each his own, um, like I told my sister, I'm like, girl, those shoes are not meant for walking and I don't walk. <laughs> like if I'm wearing those, I am getting in a car or I'm getting scooped up. So I'm not like, I'm not definitely not going to be wearing those walking down the street. Like that's the strip we either I'm going to, I don't know, not even a party, maybe like a barbecue or I'm going to brunch or I'm going to dinner and that's when I'm gonna wear those. So the next shoe is by JW Anderson and also was not gonna scoop these until my sister like, bought like three pairs of these and I'm like why does she love these ugly chunky shoes so much right and then I went and visited her in Charlotte a few months back and she had them on and they were cute they were so cute but then again I didn't want to spend so much for some mules because I already have the Gucci Princeton mules not mules like slip-ins yeah they're mules are they mules I does the shoe have to have a heel to be considered a mule? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Or is like a mule like a slip-in? Well, whatever, a slip-in. And um, I have the Gucci ones. I had the Gucci ones in black with the horse bit, wore those to the ground. And then I had the, um, the red velvet ones with the fur on the back. And I love those. Like, I throw those on all the time. So I was like, you know what? I definitely need a mule to go to work in that I could just slip my feet in. And, you know, I like the chunky, obnoxious look. I did have these Celine um, sandals that are chunky with the gold hardware, and I loved it. So I wanted something like that that I can wear to work that were comfortable. And my sister ended up finding these for me again. She's amazing. If you're not following her on Instagram, do so. And she ended up finding these for me under retail. And I had an option of the black, the white, or the pink suede. Now, because I, um, I'll be honest with y'all, I found a little cute boo boo pair from Ego Shoes that, that are actually slippers that look like Sherling. And they were super cute so i bought a pair for me and my sister and i bought them in black um so i was like all right i really don't need a black pair because you can actually wear them outside so um i decided being that this was going to be like my spring shoe to get them in white and this is them in the white super cute also they are very comfortable um the only thing about it is i don't know if i love the white and then of course the next day my sister finds the black hair cheaper than how much we paid for these so i was like oh, damn i should have got the black because black is a little more classic i can wear them all year round with socks whatever and i was kind of feeling a little bummed that i did not get the black pair so i'm a little bit indecisive about these white ones but i don't know i don't know what do you guys think do you like the white should i keep the white should i not keep it if i'm a little bit indecisive should i wear it like because if i put them on with the chris new outfit and some new white shoes you know then i might be feeling it a little bit more but my only thing is i realistically can't wear it after labor day Cause I have this thing about wearing white after Labor Day and I damn sure am not wearing no white shoes after Labor Day. What do you guys think? Like, do y'all wear white after Labor Day? Cause your girl don't wear white shoes after Labor Day. No white pants, no none of that. Ain't doing it. I do have a white fur. So I will wear a white fur after Labor Day cause furs are all year round, baby. But I will not do white shoes after Labor Day. So, you know, I don't know. I don't <sighs> really.
really don't know about those. So last. All right, so let me talk about these. So these shoes actually my sister wanted to. I just like steal everything that she wants. There's a lot of items that she wants for spring that I actually ended up getting my hands on and like be bigger about that. But I love her so, you know, and she loves me. And um, it's just a little sisterly quarrel, you know, cause I just so happen to find my sizes in things. <laughs> That's all. And um, her shoe size is a little bit more popular and it sells out quickly so these sandals actually she um showed them to me a few months back and i i don't know if i instant i did like them instantly i did but because i do have the hermes oran sandals i was like mm, i don't know about those like i'm good I'm not even gonna do it so she was like i'm gonna get these so she went online she couldn't find them they were sold out and then you know for me i don't know i get like an instant high when something's sold out and like i like it and i want it now it's like okay i need to get this so kept seeing it online actually on instagram people were selling it but people were reselling it for a ridiculous amount and these are actually you know priced fairly good they're you know they're, they're cheaper than the Chanel dad sandals. So I was like, all right, I'm going to look for these and I'm going to look for these at retail. So I was doing a photo shoot in the meatpacking district and I have been dying to go down to the Hermes store for a few things. One, there is a pair of Hermes sneakers called the Hermes Crew sneaker. And I'm really interested in getting those and I wanted to see what they look like in person um, because I have owned two pairs of Hermes sneakers and one of them was extremely uncomfortable because I just bought them online and I didn't try them on. So I didn't want to run into that again. And number two, I wanted to see what bags they had because I have been going down the rabbit hole of um, people seeing videos of people going into Hermes recently and snagging bags like their dream color bag. And um, there's about three bags that's on my wish list from Hermes right now. Um, and I own um, some Hermes bags and I love my Hermes bags, but you know, there's a few more I wanna add to my collection. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna make an appointment whenever I am in the city and see if I could go in there and like kill two birds with one stone. So, like I said, I was having a photo shoot in the meatpacking district and I saw that you only have to scan the door to make an appointment and I scanned the door and I was able to get an appointment for three o'clock because my shoe was gonna end at three o'clock, so that was meant to be. And I was not going to um, ask about bags because I wasn't in the I, I wasn't thinking about buying a bag right then and there. Now I did see other women in there looking at bags and I was like, oh my god, that's so nice. But I didn't go in there for bags. I strictly went in there to look at the sneaker and to see if they had these sandals. And of course when I went in and they paired me up with a lovely essay, I was able to get the Hermes, I think they're called the Shypri. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Let me know in the comments. The Shypri sandal. Oh my God, guys, these are super comfortable. They say Hermes on the side. This is the black suede. This is the color I have been looking for, okay? And when I went in there, she was like, yeah, we have them. I knew instantly when she started walking me upstairs that they had them. And when I saw them on the display, I was so happy. And the display was a 37 and I tried them on and they fit. And then she went in the back to see if they had a brand new pair in my size. And of course,
course they did. So your girl was like, yes, ring me up right now. So um, I did end up trying on the crew sneaker, which they had in the colorway that I did want. And they were actually pretty comfy. Um, but I don't know. I wasn't like sold on them. And we all know the last time when I went into Bergdorf and I bought those Chanel boots that I didn't love. Um, and I wasn't happy with them because I originally wanted another boot so I decided that I was going to leave those and think about it and sleep on it and after I left the store and I thought about it I actually want to go back for those sneakers because I love them and I need a new pair of sneakers and I believe I will wear them a lot in the summertime so that's on my list I'm very happy about these sandals let me tell you why I'm very happy about these sandals. A, I got rid of my Dior D-Ways. Those were not for me. B, these are cheaper than the Chanel Dad sandals. I already own a pair of Chanel Dad sandals. And why? And while I love them, your girl ain't paying $13.50 for another pair of tweed Chanel Dad sandals, okay? And everybody in their mama, everybody in their mama <laughs> got those chanel dad sandals so i was like mm, i already got one pair i was looking at the tweed ones and i was just like nah nah i'm not dropping that much on some tweed sandals and then on top of that i'm like i don't know i i just feel like that is like something years to come where i don't think i'm gonna be rocking that five six years from now these though they're black they're suede well under they're less than a thousand dollars okay they're hermes they're classic not only that not a lot of people gonna have them and to me i'm tired of seeing listen i got a pair of oran sandals okay i got a pair okay i fell into the oran trap but i must say when i came home with my oran sandals i don't love them okay like i like them but i don't love them like to me mm, they're like flip-flops and i'm not even trying to like you know they just i just don't love them and i feel like i see them everywhere and i just i'm over it they're like i'm they're like the dior d ways to me and listen listen there's a denim pair that's out right now and i think it's really cute and I do see the girls in the Orans and I wear mine and I think they're really, really nice, but I just feel like they're very oversaturated. And these are like, you know, I don't see a lot of girls with these on and they're comfortable. Oh my God. I feel like the Orans are a little bit more dressy. These you can dress up or dress down. But like I said, I have a pair of Orans. I fell into the trap. I don't love them. I feel like these sandals are in the same price range. Get something be a little bit different. So, I'm sorry I've ranted. <laughs> but let me know what shoe you like. Let me know if you like the Attico. Let me know if you love the JW Anderson. And let me know if you like the Hermes sandal. Let me know if I should keep the JW Anderson. I was thinking, hmm, now that I got these, I could rock these like every day to work maybe not a jw anderson but again i do not own a white pair of shoes or white pair of um slip-ins and that'll be a cute addition to my wardrobe thanks for joining us today please be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button bye